Do you ever do a search on a social media platform and just can't seem to find the magic word you're looking for? Or perhaps you find a trending topic that's absolutely enchanting. There's a tool that social media professionals use to get your attention. We're going to discuss that today. The National Institute for Social Media presents Fantastic Hashtags and How to Use Them. Let's begin by discussing what exactly a hashtag is. But even before that, we must review what a tag is. A tag is a piece of code used to link pages on the internet or to give it specific properties. While many types of tags exist, for us non-coding magicians, there are two types we're going to zero in on. At and hashtag. At tags link a specific user page. In most cases, this will usually be something like a Twitter handle or a Facebook profile. Just as an example, if I want to get the intention of my school headmaster, I would type at Professor Dumbledore. Hashtags, on the other hand, act more like keywords. It would be no different than doing a search on Google for a specific topic or idea. For example, typing in hashtag magic spells would have the same effect as typing the words magic spells into Google. It's important to remember, however, that social media platforms are not search engines. Google, for example, exists simply to help you find information. Facebook, on the other hand, exists not only to find information, but to discuss and share that information. So how does one successfully cast a spell with hashtags? How do you get retweets, favorites, and follows? There are two keys to successful hashtags, memorability and specificity. As an example, let's go into Twitter and search for hashtag Quidditch. While Quidditch is indeed a topic, this hashtag by itself will give you thousands upon thousands of results, which may not necessarily be the ones you want. The reason this tag doesn't work well is because hashtag Quidditch could mean any number of things. So let's try this again, but this time, let's search for Hogwarts Quidditch. You've narrowed the results down considerably, but there's still a problem here. While the hashtag mentions a specific location, there are still many things that this could mean. So again, this doesn't quite hit the mark. Let's try it one more time, but this time let's use hashtag Hogwarts Quidditch House Cup. Now we're getting somewhere. Not only does the hashtag specify what the topic is, in this case, a sport, but also the location of a specific event. While this example is fictional, it details a specific event, a specific place, and has viral potential. There are many ways you can use a hashtag to charm your audiences. It could be anything from advertising a specific product to using a company slogan or catchphrase to starting a conversation with users. Hashtags are a great way to help social media users find your brand, your event, or your product, and what it has to offer. That's all for today. Check out the National Institute for Social Media for more great topics on how you can use the internet to your company's advantage.